What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and this is the Wallabot DIY collection. This is the first Wallabot DIY. This I used for many years and it works fantastic still to this day. The Wallabot DIY detects studs, metal studs, pipes, wires, critters in the wall, scans four inches or 10 centimeters deep. The Wallabot DIY is the least expensive out of the three but it only works for Android devices and it only scans on drywall. This device right here is the new and improved Wallabot DIY Plus. And this actually is improved case and an improved design. Also, it can scan plaster walls, which is very useful. The Wallabot DIY Plus is a little bit more expensive but it does scan faster and has a better case, better user experience, works on lath, plaster, and drywall. Also scans four inches deep into the wall. However, it only works for Android devices. And right here is the Wallabot DIY 2. This actually works for Android and iOS devices, where these other two only work for Android devices running Android 8.0 or higher but right here this one tells you yeah so this is for iPhone models 7 and higher and Android phones 8.0 and higher the Wallbot DIY 2 is a little bit more expensive but it does work for iPhones and Android phones it's also wireless using Wi-Fi connectivity it has a built-in rechargeable battery so it won't drain your phone battery so the all scan similar four inches 10 centimeters it can scan metal pipe uh, wooden studs craters in the wall so in that case they're all similar but what's really cool about these devices they all use one app well, let's go ahead we're going to switch the wallabot we're going to try out the first version right here and i have a type c connection so you just slap this on like that, plug it in right here, and plugs in right here. Hit OK. All right, let's go ahead and hit drywall. Done. So we're going to use drywall right here. This is the DIY one. Click on calibrate, start calibration. All right, calibration is complete. Now you wanna keep it on the wall after you calibrate, that's very important. If you take the device off the wall, you have to recalibrate. So, we have a stud right here, which makes sense because that's where the screw is on this sign. Move over, go slow. And we should have a wire because there's electrical right here. There should be a wire, Romex. Oh, there it is. There's the Romex cable right here. It says pipe or wire. So it's, it's actually detecting the wire. So expert mode. You can switch to, and then you'll see, there it is. So it tells you right here, there's something there. You can adjust the sensitivity if you want to by moving that dot up and down. I usually leave it around 70%. So in expert mode, you, you can see critters in the wall like mice, which is pretty useful. Uh, right here, images, it'll basically logically guess what the item is inside the wall. It says pipe or wire. And then you scan over a little bit more over here, and it's, it says wooden stud. So it's pretty accurate in that sense. And then you have also pan. You can pan the wall and see how far apart the studs are. So this is really useful. And of course, you have concrete. So it, it can scan against concrete and drywall. So the DIY is very useful. The only thing is, is 
you really need like wax paper to protect your wall because this will scuff up your wall. Now we're gonna use the Wallbot DIY Plus. It has these strips right here protecting your wall. So that is an improved design. And once again, you have the sticky tape or double-sided uh, sticky tape right here that goes against your phone. It does come with the cable, micro USB to micro USB. But in most cases, you're gonna be using the Type-C cable. All right, so now it's asking me to drywall or plaster. So now it's giving me that option. So it does auto detect, which is good. So let's go ahead and now calibrate. So if you do switch your devices, make sure you close the app and then reopen the app. Then you plug in the new device. So it recognizes which uh, software it needs to use for that device. All right, so let's go ahead and recalibrate, start calibration. Because we're using this new case and new design, it's a lot smoother. It does not scuff up the wall at all. There it is. Calibration is complete. Now we could do images, start scanning, and let's find out if it does a good job. All right, so right here, it detected the pipe and wire fairly quick. And the wooden stud, it tells you the center of the wooden stud. That's accurate as well. You can also turn it this way and detect fire blocks, which is useful. I don't have a fire block in this wall. And once again, you have expert mode. There it is, you can adjust that. And then, or you could pan. And when you hit pan, you can find out how far apart your studs are. So, hold that down, I guess. Oh, app crashed. So the DIY Plus is really great for installers because they may run across plaster walls, drywall, concrete. So this is more universal. This is the Wollabot DIY 2, and it comes with a USB to Type-C cable. This is only for charging your device. And this won't drain your battery on your phone, which is great, that's very useful. Let's go ahead and get started with this one. You can hold it like this, that's fine, but it's really meant to be wireless using the Wi-Fi. And it has those strips protecting your wall, which is another good thing. So let's go ahead and get started. So you could just hold it like this and press and hold the button on the bottom for two seconds now, when you do that, it's gonna turn red and then blue. When it's connected, it'll turn green. So open up the Wallabot app right here. And then we're gonna select Wallabot 2. There it is, right there on top. And we're gonna go ahead and hit start. Now it says, do you see a blue light? Yes, hit continue. And then let's go ahead and scan that code. Right here, we're gonna scan it. Now it's searching for the device. There it is, connect, and it's that easy. All right, we're gonna update it. I guess there's a software update, of course, while I'm making a video, always. So hopefully that'll be quick. There it is, it's transferring. The light is green, which means we're connected. But during the update, it's gonna turn off, looks like, and reboot. All right, it's connecting, and the green light lets you know that it's connected. There we go, we're connected. So let's go ahead and test it out. All right, so we're gonna hit done. We're gonna choose calibrate. You wanna make sure your phone is within three feet of the device, and there's no wireless interference, like a wireless router or something like that, or a microwave, could mess it up. Hit next and start calibration. We're gonna go counterclockwise. All right, it is completed. So this device does not do plaster walls 
only drywall, so keep that in mind. And hit images and start to scan. All right, so we're gonna, oh, there it is. There's the wooden stud right there, which is really cool. And then scan it a little bit to the left, go to the right. It should detect the wire. There it is, the wiring, just pipe or wire. There it is. And then if you go down here, there it is again, once again. It seems like it works a little bit faster, in my opinion. I could be wrong. It seems like it's working a little bit faster, like it detects it quicker on the screen. But I could be wrong. It seems like it pops up on the screen a little bit faster. Yeah, so if I, if I move this really quick, it does come up fairly quick on the screen. You could switch to expert mode right here. Let's see, there it is, there's the stud. It lets you know, wooden stud right here. And it does tell you the battery life on this device on the app. What I suggest is if you have an iPhone, I highly suggest getting the DIY 2. If you have an Android phone, I think the DIY Plus is a better device. And if you have lack of funds and money matters, then the DIY version 1 is probably going to be your best solution if you want to save money. And if you're just a homeowner that you have a drywall or concrete wall and you want to scan, the DIY version 1 works just as good as any of these devices if you have just a regular drywall that you want to scan. And if you know anyone that might be interested in this video, go ahead and click on the share button below, share this video to them, help someone out. Subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. Thanks guys for watching.